everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is the square root of x plus square root of minus x. This is equal to 2. So what is the value of x? Let's prevent the solution from here. The first thing to do here, let's take square root of minus x on the right hand side. So we have square root of x here plus square root of minus x. This is equal to 2. So let's take square root of minus x on the right hand side. So that here we have square root of x. This is equal to 2 subtract square root of minus x. The next step is to square both signs from here. Let's square both signs. So that now here we have square root of x squared. This eliminate the square root sign. So we have x is equal to, this is 2 minus square root of minus x raised to power 2. Now, this implies that 2 minus square root of minus x squared, this is in the form of a minus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a b. Applying this algebraic identity, then x is equal to, now here we have 2 squared, which is equal to 4, minus, we have 2 times 2 square root of minus x, then plus, now here we have square root of minus x squared. Now the next step is that we have x is equal to 4, subtract 2 times 2, this is 4, square root of minus x. Then we have square root of minus x squared. So let's eliminate the square root sign from here, so that plus times minus, this is minus x. So let's take minus x on the left hand side. So here we have x plus x, this is equal to 4, minus 4, square root of minus x. The next step is that x plus x, this is 2x, and this is equal to, now, 4 minus 4, we can express this as 2, 2 is common here, we can factor out 2, so that here yeah, this is 2 minus 2, square root of minus x. Let's divide both signs by 2 from here. So that now here we have x is equal to 2 minus 2 square root of minus x. The next step is that we can take minus 2 square root of minus x on the left hand side. So this implies we have 2 square root of minus x and this is equal to 2 subtract this x. Now, the next step from here is to square both signs from here. So that now, here we have 2 times square root of minus x squared. This is in the form of a times b raised to the power n, which we can express as a to the power n times b to the power n. So this implies that here we have 2 squared times square root of minus x squared. This is equal to 2 minus x squared. So here we have 2 squared. This is equal to 4 times square root of minus x squared. We eliminate the square root sign. So minus minus x. This is times minus x. This is equal to 2 minus x squared. This is the same thing as 4, subtract. Now here we have 2 squared, and this is equal to 4 times square root of minus x squared. This means we eliminate the square root sign. So times minus x, this is equal to, now 2 minus x squared, this is the same thing as 2 squared, this is 4, then plus x squared, then subtract 4x. So therefore here we have minus 4x here, this is equal to 4 plus x squared, 
minus 4x. So minus 4x here simplifies so that here we have x squared plus 4. This is equal to 0. So this implies that x squared is equal to minus 4. So therefore, to solve for x here, let's introduce a square root sign on both sides. So here we have square root of x squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 4. So this implies that x here is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 4. This can be expressed as 4 times minus 1. So therefore here, x is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 this is 2 square root of minus 1 this is i so therefore here we have x1 is equal to 2 i x2 is equal to minus 2 i now these are the values of x that we have as the solutions for this algebra problem so the next step is to verify so let's verify that x1, which is 2i, and x2, which is minus 2i, satisfies the equation as follows. Now, if you recall from here, if you recall, we have that the square root of x plus square root of minus x, this is supposed to give us a value of 2. Now let's substitute x1. x1 is equal to 2i, so we have square root of 2i plus square root of minus 2i. This is equal to 2. So the first step here is to square both sides. So that now square root of 2i plus square root of minus 2i squared, this is in the form of a plus b squared which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a b now here we have square root of 2i squared then plus square root of minus 2i squared then plus 2 multiplying by now we have the square root of 2i here times square root of minus 2i close the bracket here this is equal to 2 squared which is equal to 4 so we have that the square root of 2i squared this is the same thing as 2i then now we have the square root of minus 2i here so we eliminate the square root sign plus times minus this is minus 2i then plus 2 into the parentheses square root of 2i times square root of minus 2i this is the same thing as square root of 2 times 2 then times minus 1 times i squared this is equal to 4 so 2 minus 2 here this is equal to 0 then we have 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of 2 times 2, this is 4, then multiplying by minus 1 times i squared. Remember i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. So minus 1 times minus 1, and this is positive. So this implies here we have 2 square root of 4. This should give us a value of 4. So this is 2 times square root of 4, this is 2. This should give us a value of 4. So 2 times 2, this is 4, which is equal to 4. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. So let's take x2, which is equal to minus 2i from here. So remember we have the square root of x, which is now square root of minus 2i plus square root of minus x which is minus minus 2i close the bracket here this is equal to 2 
So this implies that the first thing to do here, let's square both sides from here. So this is the same thing as square root of minus 2i squared plus square root of minus times minus, this is 2i squared. Then here we have plus 2 times, this is square root of minus 2i times square root of 2i, close the brackets here, this is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So square root of minus 2i squared, this implies we eliminate the square root sign, so here we have minus 2i plus, now square root of 2i squared, we eliminate the square root sign, so this is 2i, then plus 2 times, this is square root of minus 2i times square root of 2i, so this is square root of minus, this is 2 times 2, this is 4, times minus 1, then times i squared, this is equal to 4. So minus 2i plus 2i, so this simplifies, so we have 2 into the parentheses here, this is square root of 4, remember minus 1, times i squared, which is minus 1, this is equal to 1. So this is the same thing as we have square root of 4. This should give us a value of 4. So here we have square root of 4, this is 2. So we have 2 times 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, and this is equal to 4. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x1 and x2 satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.